Welcome back, everyone. Toysha's here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another news update. Thanks again to Todd McFarlane. They took to their interwebs again to start off their summer showcase at McFarlane Toys, showing off all the new properties, all the new figures, and they kicked it off today with Avatar The Last Airbender. We've seen Batman 66 as well so far. A lot of cool stuff coming, but with Avatar, they're going to be having a brand new 5-inch scale line. So here we have Zuko, the firebender. I'm actually impressed at the scale, at that 5-inch scale, the amount of detail that they got in there. So if these do come out looking exactly like they do in these promo press photos, then yeah, I think people are definitely going to be stoked. He comes with a pair of fire bending element powers, so that's really nice to see. And then we have Katara with her water bending. He briefly showed her off in the video, but if you look closely, I like the way the water came out. It looks like it's mid bend. Sometimes effects, pieces, power effects don't exactly flow or mesh well with articulation and posing. This one, this one looks pretty cool, so I'll give them to him on that. And then we have Sokka. He comes with his boomerang weapon and it actually fits into his little backpack right there. So that's cool to see. Again, just the detail, very much the Nickelodeon show brought to life. So if you've never seen it, highly recommend it. I'm pretty sure I went the backwards route. I saw that M. Night Shyamalan movie and then everyone goes, no, you're supposed to watch the cartoon. And I watched that and I was like, oh my God. Doesn't even compare, right? But in no M. Night Shyamalan surprises, we're also getting Aang. And he comes in the single pack. He comes with his staff. And again, he looks great. And then there will also be a deluxe version of this Aang. Comes with his glider and the staff. Now, these are going to run you about 10 bucks. The deluxe one will probably be upwards about 15 Again, Walmart exclusive. And roughly, they have about 10 points of articulation between all the figures. And then there will also be a seven inch scale line as well for Avatar The Last Airbender, which again, McFarlane briefly showed off in the video. Those will probably be running around the $20 mark as most McFarlane products do in that seven inch scale. So not a bad price for these five inch figures, 10 bucks each, nice little budget right there. But the really cool thing, and I'm glad they always do, they've been getting into vehicles a lot more, vehicles, quote unquote, but we're getting a giant Appa figure. And he looks largely to be like the Cygor from their Raw 10 line, but he's a vehicle and you can put Aang or whichever other characters inside and it looks great. The cool thing about it is he's largely all one piece. He does have minimal articulation, which does not bother me at all. And I agree with him. You don't want to go too much articulation. Sure, moving the legs around, that would have been great. But in kind of how they described it with being a centipede sort of deal, sometimes less is more, to be quite honest with you. Now, this guy has jaw articulation and tail articulation and will run you around the $20 mark, much like their Cygor, huge, huge Cygor. So they can do a lot with minimal articulation and big figures, and I really like seeing them do that. So again, nice little vehicle for your Avatar The Last Airbender figures. Walmart exclusive, they go up for pre-order today, June 18th, so depending on when you see this video, I'll put the links in the description below, but yeah, Walmart exclusive line for the 5 inch series for right now, that's all they've said, so if you want them, yeah, you can get them very, very soon, no word yet on an exact release date, but I would say probably later in the year, if anything, so I'm curious to know what you guys think about these Avatar The Last Airbender figures, are they for you, will you be picking them up? What is it? 5, 10, 15, 20, about 40, like around 50, 60 bucks if you want to get all the figures. That's not bad at all, right? That's about three Marvel Legends <laughs> or three Spawn figures if you want to go that route. But I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, have a great weekend, live it up, have some fun, eat some great food, and make sure you tell Dad Happy Father's Day. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.